No, this isn't a landfill. It's somebody's neighborhood. But this is still where people are dumping their trash. And the stench is overpowering. Now, as soon as flood waters started receding earlier this month, people have been throwing out things that were damaged in the floods, like furniture and clothes. So families here have been living with piles and piles of rubbish just outside their homes for the last three weeks. Bua Chan Tiwatao has had to throw away most of her stuff, so she's trying to salvage what she still can. But she's concerned about living so close to a dump site. Some days I can't even breathe. The smell can get so bad, and I worry about mold and bacteria. Officials have promised that they'll clear the rubbish before the end of the year, but they're having a tough time keeping up. It's going to be a very close call. I am confident that the original garbage we could collect in time. But the, the point is that uh, as soon as we collect garbage, uh, new garbage comes out. The capital city produces 8,500 tons of waste every day. After the floods, about 100,000 tons had accumulated. That's a lot of extra work on top of everything else that still needs to be done. There are many canals that have to be cleared of silt and rubbish. And the water pumps and floodgates need repairing. But no matter what the government does now to get things back to normal, it won't help it fight allegations that it was negligent in its handling of the floods. Hundreds of victims have filed a class action lawsuit. They're suing Prime Minister Yinglat Shinawat and other top officials and agencies. And in the days to come, lawyers have said hundreds more may follow suit. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.